initiation retro. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to bypass Bloom security doors and get inside. Then find and erase your personal CTOS profile. Whatever they have on me, it's all bullshit. And I'm sick of getting harassed for it. All the more reason for a purge. We'll be watching. Try to keep up. By the way, we put this playlist together to set the mood. Hope you like it. You're wasting your time. He's not in. Gotcha. So that's him. He's got a gun. Is that a problem? More problems are why you keep me around, right? Time him. I'm curious. Too late. He's in. Already? Don't say I don't know. I have no idea. Nuh-uh. No synonyms either. Give me a real answer. I'm just not that into aliens or video games. It's not just any alien. It's... Oh, come on. Anyone else having a problem with their... Ooh, what? Oh, God. Oh, God! Something over there.
OS 2.0 features is the integration of our software into consumer vehicles. By brokering deals with the top auto insurance providers, we can offer large discounts. So what's his deal? He was raised in Oakland, but was born in... <laughs> his deal is, he's been hanging around the dead sec IRC, and he's got cred. Figured we'd give him a test drive. On the hardest difficulty, nobody's been able to delete their CTOS profile before. I want to see if he's smart, stubborn, or both. CTOS tagged him as the prime suspect in a high-tech burglary, so... He's done time? Community service. Not enough evidence. Just the word of CTOS's predictive algorithms. But once in the system... Always in the system. Holy shit! <laughs> he went for it! You won't have much time before the backups kick in. Going in the hot aisle. It's at least 120 degrees in there. Give the man props. He's going the mile. in the system. Nobody's gotten that far. This is like the secret cow level. my threat so high. This is bullshit. Fuck. Or I could just...
Just gonna drop a little back door into the system so I can get back inside later. Sorry, Bloom. We've got unfinished business. He's heading out. Bag him. Yeah. Fuck I'm gonna go. In 2013, Chicago realized the promise of smart cities with CTOS, a citywide operating system merging big data with surveillance, security, and transit programs. With a few hundred lines of code, hackers were able to hijack its central servers and cripple the entire grid. Many believed the attack development. They were wrong. Coordinated from the heart of Silicon Valley, CTOS 2.0 has been implemented across the United States, ushering in the Internet of Things. 6.4 billion connected devices now serve as collection points, mapping and recording our daily routines, making a more secure and more invasive system. But who else is listening? Big Brother no longer works alone. Thousands of little brothers monitor and aggregate your every move building a complete digital profile of you to be bought, sold, or stolen in an instant. Toys study your children, reporting their play habits back to marketers. Appliances, consoles, and home security systems give corporations a window into your private life. Control of your vehicle and mobile device can now be breached remotely by anyone at any time. You may think that you are immune or underestimate the risk, but your digital shadow is already compromised. Insurance companies use algorithms to monitor your life habits and limit or deny coverage. Health providers determine if your cancer is worth treating. Search results and news feeds are skewed to bias mood and influence your vote, engineering social uprisings on a massive scale. You are now less valuable than the data you produce. Data you produce. This is the new reality. Going dark is no longer an option. With threats to personal freedom rising, many are stepping forward. Whistleblowers, activists, and hackers have drawn their battle lines, putting the establishment on watch. But are they threats themselves, or have they become freedom's last line of defense? Freedom's last line of defense. So, am I in? Welcome to DedSec. I'm Satara. 
This sweetheart is Josh, a.k.a. Hot Sauce. Yo, you're Hot Sauce? Yeah, man, I loved your frat house hat. Real talk. Thanks. This weirdo's wrench. The needs of the many. And this Casanova is Horatio. What's up, brother? What's up, man? It's the crew, huh? Took y'all long enough to come get me. Shit. You saw Bloom's bullshit. CTOS isn't just regulating infrastructure. The amount of personal data that thing is collecting is fucking mind-blowing. Yeah. It's big brother and little brother all rolled up into one. Huh? Sees everything you do and tells on you. Thank you, Josh. So what's the fix? Sledgehammers and fire. No! Sledgehammers on fire. Oh, sorry. All of that data in one place means they can reject your fucking application before you click on it. Congratulations, you have been pre-rejected for our credit card. Or your house, or your insurance. That's not even the worst case scenario. All that data in the hands of the government, they'll arrest you for shit before you even do it. Yeah, I've been there. Now I fucking know why. Man, f fuck it! Fuck it, man. We're hackers. We we outthink, we out there. I, I say we tear down the fucking wall. Hey, show everyone what what Bloom's up to, man. Show show the world that their personal data is being used to rob them of their fucking freedoms. Fuck. I installed a back door, so all we gotta do is walk right through. Uh, hold on. You what? He installed the back door, so all we have to do is walk through. Bingo. Hey, man. Oh. Do you have the time? Oh, yeah, man. I, I got it. I got it. Kind of late for a night run, isn't it? Hey, what are you, what are you running from the cops? <laughs> Maybe I am one. Hey, hey you, you look familiar. <laughs> Have a good party. Fucking king, this motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck you, Bloom. I'm gonna go have a goddamn good time. Hello? Whose phone is this? It's your new phone.
Hey. All right, Sitar, so where you at? Sending you the location and the passcode for the door. Be careful. What are you doing? Go!
Yes. is clear. Moving on. You're up against the best. No location on the suspect. Check in the next area. Cut Stay down. in range. Trap. 
Oh man. Yo! Finally. So Josh and I spoke, and fucking over Bloom has been a long-standing project. All right, you need two things to take down Bloom. You need to get people to rally behind your cause and separate you from the trolls. And we need bots, and a lot of them to handle the data CTOS is processing. Thank you, Josh. We spent all night modifying our app so you can get followers to download the app, and we can use their processing power for the cause. Oh, this is happening? It's really happening? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, this is happening. You better get to it. <laughs> Hell yeah, man! Barbarians are at the gate, ready to bust some Roman heads. Yeah, we're gonna focus on some high-profile ops, playing for exposure and laughs to get people to download our app. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't worry. So it wasn't like that. <laughs> Marcus! <laughs> Check you out. Alive and dry. I wasn't sure after your moonlight swim. Come here. You've got to check this out. Behold. Our very own open source research app. So, like, all of us here pool vulnerabilities that we find, and we encourage everyone to share their work, their research, etc. Okay, so what's the research app do? Widen our skill set? Make us irresistible to the gender of our choice? What, so it's like a I know kung fu kind of deal? If kung fu was a gender and not so 1999? Absolutely. of technology. A 3D printer. This is the army of printers. It is capable of pumping out an arsenal of little weapons down. Seriously? Yep. Once you master it, voila! Hipster merchant of death. All good, except I'm no hipster. <laughs> you keep telling yourself that. Now try to make something. But don't blow us up.
Good to have another brother here. Good to be here, man. Are you all hackers? Yeah, kind of a basic requirement to get invited into the hacker space. But we all have our specialties, like Josh over there. Always building shit that shouldn't work. Now he's trying to build this big-ass drone. And Wrench? Good engineer, too. But better at breaking shit apart. And yo, Satara? <laughs> Sis got skills as an artist and a graphic designer. Without her, dead sex walking around without a face or voice. What about you? What's your superpower? Tactical coordinator, or cat herder. Take your pick. I make dead sec go where it has the most impact. You heard of Prime 8? Those are some real dirty hacking motherfuckers. Yeah, I've brushed up against them before. It wasn't pleasant. All right, that's what I like to hear. Link up with me when you're ready to do this, and I'll fill you in. There's always someone running ops against Prime 8. Bet they'd love your help. It's something, right? This whole place is something. We used to keep track of news feeds on here, but now it's our follower wall. So it knows if we're trending? No, no, no. It's based on hard values. How many people downloaded our app, how much processing power we have access to, you know. <laughs> nice. And speaking of which, we're downloading the DeadSec app into your phone as we speak. When it's ready, open it up, click the suggested op, and hit the park outside so we can test it. Sounds good. One more thing. I put a reminder on your phone so you remember what we're gunning for. Get enough processing power to take down Bloom. The wrench. <laughs> Man, what to say about this guy? Some freaky shit going on right there. I'd like to say he's actually a sensitive, charming guy beneath the harsh exterior. But I'm pretty sure he's a fucked up motherfucker all the way through. I don't even know who first recruited him. He just started showing up at local hacker spaces and building his tools of destruction. At first, I thought he was trying too hard. Like he was a FBI plant or something. But no agent is gonna pull the kind of suicidal stunts this guy does. I think the truth is, Wrench doesn't care if he dies, but he's not going quietly. Even so, I'm glad we've got the Wrench on our side. One of the group's biggest problems is lack of GSD, getting shit done. The Wrench is pure GSD, and he brings his own sledgehammer. He's not some dumb thug either. I've seen some of his code, he's legit. Probably why he's interested in DeadSec and not some street gang. You know what? I take that back. He might actually belong to a street gang. Who knows? One thing I do know about Wrench, the man hates Bloom. I mean, hates The app's downloaded and I'm in the park. What am I testing? Start profiling things around you. People, devices. See what you can pull from them. That's what helps us figure out our next ops. And running ops that are important to people is how we get them interested in DeadSec. The more followers download our app, the more intel we get. It's the circle of life. Oh, and see if you can find some components to help us with our research. Hipster merchant! <sighs> the app is your data mining tool. Of death! Okay, okay, I got this. So what now? Up to you, man. You're free to do whatever catches your eye. We post ops to the DeadSec app, and doing them helps us get followers. And followers are our Skrilla. Followers mean computers, which boosts our processing power, which lets us do bigger and better ops. Not worth my time. Get it? Hey, so what's this about Bobo Dakes? You know Bobo's working on a new album, right? Yeah, I heard. Well, you won't get to hear it? Motherfucker Gene Carcaney just put millions on the table to keep it all to himself. What does a big pharma CEO want with a rap album? Dude has a huge Bobo collection. And he probably wants to hang that shit on his wall like a damn trophy. Just rubbing his money in our faces, bruh. Do you know if Bobo took the deal? He hasn't announced anything yet, but he will. It's a lot of cash. And maybe there's still time for an intervention. Time for what? Hey, man, what's up? No, I, 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 yeah. uh, I assume you guys have heard of Gene Carcani? He's the shit sack who's on TV laughing about how he's raising the price of leukemia medicine. Yeah, the most hated man in America? Yeah, why do you ask? Guy's a huge Bobo Dakes fan. 
must have read Bobo's in town recording new tracks because he's offering millions to keep the album to himself. So stupid. Bobo will never go for it. The real one won't. So we're gonna do it for him. I'm gonna visit Bobo and see if I can borrow some of his new tracks as proof that we're legit. How do we contact Karkani? I need you guys to run through interviews, podcasts, whatever. Find me some usable lines. We're gonna make a soundboard. Ooh, I love this. Marcus, guys, the Cyber Driver trailer just dropped. Oh, yeah, sweet. Hey, don't watch it without me. <laughs> Meet you at the Hacker's Wave. I'm on my way. I've got a new Bobo track the world has never heard before. How's the soundboard coming? Yo, a Bobo takes, bitch. <laughs> oh, perfect. So, how do we contact Karkani? I'm gonna visit his mansion. I need to see his face when we do this. Time to mess with the farmer clown. This ass face deserves it. Hello? Sup? Uh, sup? Who is this? Yo, bitch. It's Bobo Dakes. Holy shit. I'm a huge fan. Are you taking me up on my offer? Yeah, I laid down some hot tracks. Really? Fantastic. Yup. Can I get a sample? On the way, on the craze. That's dope. That's your best work yet. You're welcome. And this is exclusive, right? No one else gets this, just me? Yup. So how do you want payment? The bitch better have my money. I do. I just need to know how to route it to you. Y'all, check it. Ah, there. That's the routing number? Yup. 
Uh-huh. Sent and confirmed. You got it. This is awesome, man. This is like a dream come true. Yo, bitch, it's Bobo Dakes. What? They say God made man in his own image. But God made himself in Bobo's image. What are you talking about? Yo, bitch, it's Bobo Dakes. No. No. No, 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 no. Oh, what the shit? No. What? Come on, what are you guys doing to me? Why me? Come on. I'm a good guy. It's just business. I got shareholders, bitches. Guys, guys, he just, he just donated 20 million to leukemia research. <laughs> Bitch better have my money. <laughs> Yo, who did that? organization New Dawn is accusing Oakland City Councilor Miranda Kamei of defamation. In a recent interview, the councilor had described the organization as, quote, a fraudulent pyramid scheme. The organization seems to have fought back with more than just lawyers. The councilor's private life was recently revealed when medical records of the councilor's transgender treatments were mysteriously released to the media. A spokesperson for New Dawn said that the organization had nothing to do with the leaked medical records and in her statement accused Councillor Kamei of desperately seeking attention. Congrats, Marcus. Our follower count is growing fast. How many are actually giving us access to their computers? All of them. That's the point. They give us access to their power. We grow a network of computers that makes us stronger. Our own giant cloud computing network. So do people sign a contract? I vow to let DedSec own my processor? We're transparent. They know before they ever install the app that they're giving us access to their computing power. But never their personal info. That's a lot of trust. Silicon Valley would kill to have that level of intrusion. Private data farming runs their whole economy. Yeah, but we look out for our own, man. That's why people are joining our movement. To make a statement against the technocrats.
Hey, Marcus, have you seen the trailer for the new Jimmy Siska movie? No, it's out. Hey, hey, pull it up, no, man. No, 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 not on this. For this, we need perfect sound. We need a big screen. We need to be comfy. You're right. We need quiet. Have you seen it yet? No, nah, man, I waited for you. You're the best. Thank you. All right, everybody, we're going to watch the trailer. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. In a world where technology connects everything. I'm not looking for justice, goddammit. One man prowls the information superhighway in search of cyber justice. I'm looking for cyber justice. Simple line of code could devastate the whole world. It's gonna be a cyber caster. Cyber Driver. Hit him with the code flurry, Chip. Jimmy Siska is... Ah! Got no choice, kiddies. Follow me, or die. Devin Von Devin. We gotta get these hackers somewhere safe. They aren't hackers, Devin. They're just script kiddies. Hey, the car answered. This ain't your mama's smart car. I think next time we're gonna need a higher firewall, pal. Cyber, Cyber Driver. <laughs> Action hero, badass. Talking car, admit it, Josh. The car is cool. You know what I'm thinking? We cut our own version of that trailer. And that car is going to help us do it. Real? It wouldn't have us a ton of followers. No, first, Josh and I will go to the studio to get that script. We'll look around and see what other gems they have about death sec. And we'll look for the car. All right, so what's the deal here? Are we, are we issuing an advisory? No, why would we do that? They'll just patch the holes. No, uh, let them. Don't worry, Cyber Child. Oh, don't. Hacker movie's gonna get hacked. HMP Studios. We are holding you solely responsible for the threat that is Cyber Driver. Cyber Driver. Cheesy stunts and bad dialogue, we can take. But you've insulted our intelligence. And that we can't excuse. It seems like you could do with a lesson on what hackers are capable of. And since you didn't come to us to learn, We'll come to you to teach. We are launching Operation Hack and Run. We'll show you what hackers can do. We are dead set. You guys thought that movie was gonna be good? <laughs> well, yeah, sure. They're fun to laugh at. Cool, you said. Uh, did I actually say cool? Here's what we know, Josh. Cyber Driver is shaped up to be a million dollar cyber catastrophe. I know, you're trying to get my goats with that word. Uh, I don't want that, man. Keep your goats. Why would Galilei allow their name to be sullied? You mean cyberized? You can keep trying, but it will never be funny to me. I'm not gonna lie. If those scenes were what they chose for the trailer, yeah, the rest of it's gonna be jack shit. And why they chose to target DedSec is curious. Well, Chicago was a big deal. True. Anyway, don't worry. You and me are prowling the information highway to seek out our own cyber justice. Look, Josh, we're gonna have fun with this. And I promise I won't say cyber anymore. You know, after this, the cyber world will never be the same. <laughs> Oh, 
Catch that? Huh? You catch that? This area is closed to the general public. Please move away. Hang on. Wait, what was that?
And there it is, Hook Motion Picture Studios. Okay, guys, I'm in. My friend you just killed. Ah, so you're Devon Von Devon. Okay. Here we go. Nice. The not so secret emails. No 
I found it. We got the full script of Cyberdriver. What about the car? I don't think it's on site. We'll find it. I'm heading out now. Shit. What are you doing? What the hell? There are no coincidences. Get out there! Come on, give yourself up! We're uh, running out of organic shields. Use the craft table. Could you get that one of the kids? That's the mark. Don't make me call the cops on you. Oh, man. I found an email that says the car is being delivered to a location, but doesn't say where or when. That's okay. I think I have a backup plan. Marcus, I have a paparazzi contact who knows where the car is. He's waiting for you. We'll give him whatever he asks for out of that email dump. He's good for it. Sure. You have a paparazzi contact? <laughs> is there anyone you don't know? That's me. Social butterfly. up after the break we'll be sitting down with a former street artist sweet tea as he's known in the community is here to promote a new book of his art and a brand new fashion line including t-shirts caps and bling very exciting stuff
Talking, just back to stay up. Mierda! <coughs> El wey nos perdió. No, get out there and find that motherfucker. Oh. You've got to be kidding me. Right? Jesus, you're brave. That's like the...
If you want deets on where the car is at, better have something juicy for me. Like Jimmy Siska and pop star Nelly Shire? They are banging. I knew it. See, okay, now we're talking. Consider it sent. <laughs> Hella cool. Coolosity. All right. I sent you the GPS of the car's route.
I am Devin Von Devin, and I am... You are not Devin. Devin Von Devin is handsome and swarthy. <laughs> you are not. Oh, uh, come on. I'm sure as hell swarthier than any dude named Von Devin. Damn, Silicon Valley couldn't hire one brother? My Galilei creators think of everything. Yeah, maybe not everything. Oh man, this card, this car is something else. Yeah, well, kudos to Galilee for getting the studio to pay for this lemon. Lemon? Did you hear it? And never mind voice recognition. I mean, sure, it needs a smack upside of scripting, but it had cogent responses. Do you know how much work had to go into that? Uh, Galilee has been talking about machine learning for their Mars probe, but man, I didn't expect it to be as advanced as it. Oh, man. I know it! <laughs> I do not approve of you driving me, Marcus. You're not as swarthy as Devin Von Devon. I knew it had too much smart ass to be smart. Wow! Shiny and new. So it wasn't responding at all? Well, does, um... <sighs> does, does that count? Yeah, fuck you, man. Fuck you. <laughs> The car's designed for autonomous control, but nothing's there or even calibrated. It's capable, but suboptimal, not junk. See? That's what I'm talking about. Think positive. It's just stupid. So that's the plan? Fix a smart car the space company couldn't? Problem? No, we got this. Hmm. Yeah, the plane 
guys, my phone just got infected. Uh, impossible. We put Josh levels of security on it. It's definitely possible. Says it's the Zombie 2 virus. You do know who made the first zombie worm, right? Haddock. Yep. Who is Haddock? Bay Area legend. This guy was exposing government deals with defense contractors while we were still in school. Haddock's been off the map for a decade, but if he's back, I mean, wow. What's the virus doing? Looks like it was first installed through a spoof CTOS mobile update. I can see some of the phones it infected before mine. If I track them back, maybe I can find the source. Let's see if we can figure out Haddock's game here. Can you isolate the worm on a virtual machine? I would love to. Send it over. This should come in handy. Hey, Marcus, me wrench in the garage when you're ready. Will do. Guys, has DedSec ever run a Farmingtons up? Farmingtons? Why would we? No idea. But it looks like they've been firing employees who take even a passing interest in us. That's probably illegal. I'm gonna visit one of their pharmacies and see if I can get into the company system. Find out what's going on behind the scenes there. Hey, um, while you're there, I have a few prescriptions that need refilling. Under Josh's name, of course. Have you been stealing my pills? What? Oh, that's... no, <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Forget asked.
Hackers love a challenge. All right, guys, let's fire it up. All right. <laughs> ah. Let's do this. Okay, everything's set up. Ready? And set. Go! You know what this needs? Atmosphere.
Started out as just a trickle, then boom. The numbers haven't stopped climbing. This is a good target. Yeah, but was it? You don't think? No, I mean, of course, look at the numbers, but I don't know this. I mean, what are we gonna do? You know, for real. Aim bigger. Hell yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Are you watching? <laughs> no. It's like sadtube.com. The channel for sad people, am I right? <laughs> they ask them. Hey, come on. Look at them. They've got their own goddamn branding. I've been following them since they accessed our server network. Jesus Christ, don't yell in my fucking ear. Use your inside voice, will ya? Anyways, it's all done other than the handshake. We're working with the human Izulu in case it gets to the collateral damage part of the relationship. They'll be discreet. <laughs> 